but music's still my main gig. Navigating the waters of being an artist in late capitalism, you know how it is. Digital vinyl, busking, selling. These are the things I think about. Stop by if you want my take. <laughs> oh, wow, that's what a great take. I love it. I feel that. I feel that very much. Uh, the game that we're going to talk about is called Glitch Hackers. Again, I'm just going to play a little bit of it and just kind of get a feel for what kind of a game it is. Um, but it is, again, it is a, it is a, uh, narrative game, God, not, it's not point and click, but it is very much a dialogue choice. You do a dollar, a lot of dialogue choices. Um, so what am I talking about? I'm talking about glitch hikers. Glitch hikers, uh, description or the link is in the description below. Yeah, Glitch Hikers is uh, a very, I want to say, the art style is unique. And what it is, is you are, um, the best way to describe it is, I mean, they don't, they don't really say so, but, but really you are, it's sort of like the Matrix or Tron <laughs> is the best way to describe it. Although they don't, they don't ever really say you're in a computer program. You're in this very strange universe. Uh, and you just gotta uh, answer some questions and just kind of explore um, a very chill game, very relaxing game. So why don't we start uh, playing it? There will be a, an, uh, an audio aspect to it. So I'm gonna put my headphones on. So why don't we get to it? Gaming creates introspection and explores a variety of meandering, existential, and sometimes difficult topics. Content warning. Content warning. And I want to fix the screen, though. Yeah, I'm not liking that. Oh, this is how you move. I'm um, in a gas station, or... <clears throat> well, hello there, traveler. Welcome. Oh, there, traveler. Welcome. How might I help you? You know, he's glitching all over the place. What a weird. Who are you? Oh. I'm the humble caretaker of a little place we call the stop. That's gas station. The front of the house, so to speak. This place is a little outside attraction on the outskirts. You know, one of those. Roads that attract uh, spaces in between. We provide refreshment, relaxation, and restoration to weary wearers. In between what? That's just a question. In between spaces, in between thoughts and ideas, in between feelings, but mostly uh, in between journeys. That music is <laughs> such a kick. But it's wonderful that you've... Um, Made your way here. I don't really know if he meant to. I don't know if any of us are really here at all, frankly. Most people can be between between journeys, whether those journeys are physical, mental, spiritual. And I'm, I'm getting ahead of myself. Tonight, you can head out to the highway if you'd like, or you can head to the nearby railway to hop aboard the commuter train. You know, the highway has always has a chill kind of vibe to me. Though your thoughts may have wandered all sorts of topics as you consider the universe around you. There's nothing quite like a late night drive, is there? So classic. Chop by train is a more collective journey, in my opinion. Everyone headed in the same direction. Expect a a sense of community, but also kinds of deep and personal conversations you can only have in a safe space. There's also a nearby park, but it's closed at the moment as they install some new sculptures. And the bus at the airport is running late again. Just check back next time if you hear funny uh, to expect. Um, what do I do? Uh, you'll find very few of those here. <laughs> that's, that's a unique game. Uh, simply allow yourself to experience a journey. Let your mind wander. Just be for a little while. If you want goals, 
You have to set them yourself. Okay, there you go. I'm liking that. Maybe you know what you're looking for out there. Maybe you're not. That's okay, too. Sometimes it's nice to see where the journey takes you. But no matter your travels, expect to find others on the same journey. Share your thoughts, your feelings. There's never a right or wrong answer out there. If you find our conversations too much or you need help, you can always ask to stop. Just press the back button whenever you're given dialogue options. Otherwise, you can quit the journey or the game at any time via the pause menu. I'll always be here if you need some of the talk. Check back in between journeys. And if you need resources outside of the experience, a link is available in the pause menu as well. Content warning and a, and a chance to, to remind you, hey, this is just an experience you can leave. Look at the night sky out there. The moon is watching over you tonight. We're all watching over you. Uh, let me go here. Okay. Where is the moon? There's the moon. There's the moon. And that's glitch hackers. That's the stop is little, uh, heart. There's the moon. Look at these trees. No clouds though. A lot of stars. There's the car. There's a train. Ah, I have to start my journey now. Okay. Uh, the railway. We chose the railway because I uh, I did a, a train video topic before this, so I thought, why not? All aboard. Welcome to Infinity. Thanks for joining us tonight. As you pull open the space cadet, I ask that you be kind to the second passenger. These rails are built to ease the pull of our freighter into the next dimension, but the capacity for it is limited. Okay, I think that's interesting. I thought that <laughs> I, ha I, ha I thought that I was about to say that, that the train music is an interesting choice, and then I turn <clears throat> and see that there's it's live music. It's live music. There's actually someone playing. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Um, this is it's kind of it's kind of funny. Yeah, I'm getting quite a lot of lag and uh, delay in my video, so my audio is not syncing. Again, I'll fix that in post. All right, so I'm going to talk to her. Hey there, this is your first time on the track? Now, they like a long train ride to gather our thoughts after a tiring day. A bunch of people all in the same tracks, all of us on separate journeys, but journeying together. We're all headed in the same direction. Where are you headed? Someplace new, somewhere I've been before. I'm just going home. I'm trying to find myself. It's just a metaphor. Come on. Uh, let's try somewhere new. Up to see new sites and new sites. <laughs> there you go. Vocabulary. This this game is great for vocabulary. There's a lot to see now. New folks to meet too. I like the train. You get to go somewhere. Maybe even see someplace new. But you just get to sit and enjoy it. 
You're not in charge. The track just doesn't go in one direction. It's like reading a good book. Just so long for the ride. I read one once about. I read one once about three lovers navigating the seas together. They encounter sea monster, mysterious islands, uh, and gods of the waves. What kind of sea monsters? Monsters of jealousy, monsters of repression and neglect, monsters of loneliness, vanquished by the power of love. They each had their own resources for the journey. Different things that we were looking for, what they found predictably was each other. I found a, a love story, and uh, I found a love of story and journeys. I gotta get some more writing done. Come back in a bit. Okay, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. This is great. The art style on this is, is amazing. Oh, I could just like sit down anywhere I want. <laughs> it's literally giving me the choice to just like sit down someplace, but I don't wanna. No, but I'm sitting down now, there's the moon. Wow, this is so beautiful. So cool. It's had a very chill game. I'm looking for the guitar player. There is a guitar player. No, I don't want to exit the train. I want to keep going. There is somebody playing. There you go. There you go. I knew it. Who's this? Moonface. Hey there. I guess we're headed in the same direction. A line snaking through the landscape like the sweep of paint on a wall. Where are you going? Somewhere new. It's great to be open to new experiences. I guess that's why we're all here, eh? Looking for something new to inspire us, comfort us, guide us. I'm heading somewhere I've never been my before myself. Get to see new sites, meet new people, create new art. Uh, I got an invitation to an art festival that wants to display my work. Congratulations. Thank you. I love a place that's really invested in culture and art. It brightens our lives of everyone. I agree. I love these opportunities. A while back, I was traveling through the Epsilon Urdani system, Earth's nearest exoplanets. That was a wonderful. There was a world there. Oh, uh, boy. With the most diverse civilization I've ever seen, their beauty inspired a lot of art. They asked me to paint a mural on one of their buildings, working alongside other artists from other systems. A cooperative endeavor to melt together all of our art styles. So it's challenging. But such reward for the challenge. It was a wonderful experience. I had no troubles participating. Everyone loved my work. Nobody treated me like I was different. We were all just artists. Not quite the same story here. It's practically a five-step process just to get onto this train and have my chair secured. I knew how to do it better than the conductor did. I hope the place I go to be will be more accessible. Oh, gosh. What is this? Hello there. It's interesting what their glitches are. Some of the glitches are, are pictures of people, it's like photographs. Sometimes their places move. Like, like I wonder if their glitches mean something. Interesting. Wait, what? 
Can I go out here? I'm looking at the Aurora Borealis. Hi, buddy. Yeah, I'm gonna get up. Yeah, I'm not really understanding like what that last point was, but I wanna go out. What? What is this? I don't know what just happened. What a strange. Am I back in the same train again? No, end the journey. No, I want to get off a foggy level. Nah, I guess I can't. I'll get. I'll get off at the next. I'll get off at the next one. I love it. Wait, hold on. Is there no one on this train? I'm gonna wait for my stop. I'm gonna wait for a stop and then I'm gonna get off at the stop. And that's probably how I'm gonna end the stream. So I wanna cut off the stop and then, where, where, where am I? Where did I go? What happened? Yeah, we'll see. Yeah, the uh, the audio and the video chip has gotten really bad. Uh, And I'm gonna get off at Lucid Lake. Foggy level, I love a foggy level is a good name. Uh, Lucid Lake, wow, what's that? When I lived in Japan, one of the things I used to do, just as a, you know, to, if I had a day off and I didn't wanna, I, I had to physically be someplace different from my work, <laughs> you know? If I stayed home, I just end up doing work at home. So to make myself, to force myself to relax and have a vacation, even for just one day, I would get on a train and I would just buy, buy a ticket to the next station because the way, the way train fees worked is, um, 
I could I could buy the cheapest ticket and then I could go to the furthest place I wanted and then go to the train con train station get there and then um just say hey I uh I made a mistake can I pay the difference and I just pay the difference and the reason why I did it that way is because sometimes I didn't know which where I'd get off I didn't know where I was going to go where I was going Uh, but you can't do that here in the states. That that's you get. Yeah, it's you're gonna have a, you're gonna have a hard time if you do that. <laughs> Team of luck now arriving at. Thank you for traveling with us. More journeys await. Oh, interesting. Yeah, I suppose this was a good place to stop. And it brought me back here. Let me go back in the in the shop again. Or let me talk to Busker. Let me talk to the Busker. Hey there, a nice night out there. I've seen you on the train, yeah? It's a good gig taking a break now though. I should put some CDs on uh, at the internet cafe, but I don't have any on me. Music's an important part of my life, but it's always tough when you make a hobby into a career. Haha, <laughs> boy, don't I know it. You need a new hobby or something else to change things up. I get involved, you know, important causes, things, community organizing, protests against fascism. There's some reason I wear a mask. But music's still my main gig. Navigating the waters of being an artist in late capitalism, you know how it is. Digital vinyl, busking, selling. These are the things I think about. Stop by if you want my take. <laughs> oh, wow, that's what a great take. I love it. I feel that. I feel that very much. Um, but I think this is a good place to stop. Glitch hikers. Huh? Uh, I think I'm going to be playing more of this game. 